Jesus will never leave you nor forsaken you. And that comes from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. And it reads, And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed in Jesus' name. So the title of my message is, Where is your mindset? Where is your mindset? Mindset, a person's set of beliefs and attitudes that influence how they think, feel, and behave. It can also refer to a person's outlook, worldview, or philosophy can impact a person's success or failure. Philosophy is a study of ideas and issues and the pursuit of a, let me, let me take off my glasses. And the pursuit of a comprehensive understanding of the world. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse three, in the NLT version it reads, you will keep him in perfect peace, all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. The King James Version says, Thou would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he's trusted in thee, in Jesus' name. Let's talk about our, how our mindset affects our decisions, our decision making. Okay? Decision is a conclusion reached after consideration or deliberation. Builder mindset, a way of approaching life with a humble determination for growth and development. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7 reads, Rooted and built up in him, established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving, in Jesus' name. Builder mindset involves being aware that things can always be improved and striving for those improvements while acknowledging the work that has already been done. It also involves organizing efforts around the goal of building and enjoying one's own best life. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 reads, Through wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it's established. A fixed mindset. Belief that abilities are innate, and unchangeable and that people are born with a certain level of ability that can't be improved. People with a fixed mindset may view success or failure as a reflection of their inherent proficiency which can limit their personal growth. Innate means inherited or hereditary. Inherent proficiency. Proficient means skills or abilities. John chapter 5, verse 1 through 8 reads, Some time later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there is in Jerusalem near the sheep gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in a, this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to be well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm laying, while I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Fixed mindset includes avoiding challenges, taking the easy way out, feeling threatened by others' success. 
Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. 